right, so the InMotion V13 has finally hit the streets of New York City, and we're here live at the Brooklyn Terminal and Red Hook, and we got the chance to test it out. Stay tuned and watch this whole video to find out what I think about the wheel. Do I recommend this wheel? And also, what was my experience while riding this wheel? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. Um, check my other content out. I got a bunch of stuff, whole collage of stuff, a collection of things you can get tapped into. Now, let's get on with this video. Like, 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 he made a fair point that the yeah. you sure the range isn't all that, but you got to be going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really it takes off. Takes off. Yeah. Yeah. It takes off. It feels good. How fast have you got it up there? Uh, I didn't. I didn't really check. Oh, uh, you someone you did 45. Oh, I did 45. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, this thing's fast, man. It's pretty good. Like, I like the responsiveness and everything. It's nice. It's just um, I gotta get used to the. The size of the wheel, you can really play around with it. I think it's very uh, it's yeah. stable and yeah. has a, I mean, it has more pull than anything else. Yeah, yeah. No, I like, you know, I, I don't even like, I mean, I could just feel the stableness of the wheel and everything, but I like the, the, the motor responsiveness. Seriously, it feels great. It's just braking though. It's like a whole, like, full body exercise to like, to really break it takes a long time, man. <laughs> but I just, I gotta give one more go, man. <laughs> And then one more go. Alright, do it. Alright, thanks. Alright, so you guys heard it. I'm in love with this wheel. I'm just amazed on how smooth the motor is, the responsiveness, the the way how it reacts. I'm just you know, I can't get over that. And then the crazy thing is that when we did this test run, it was a windy day. It was it was windy, it was cold. So take into account all of those factors, the wheel was still pushing with no hiccups. It didn't slouch or nothing the whole time. And this is a 22 inch wheel with suspension by the way. Amazing y'all, I'm telling y'all. This thing bro, the V13 man, I'm telling y'all, this is amazing. Man, y'all might have to. <laughs> So when I first entirely mounted the wheel, it took me a while to adjust to the setup, uh, the, the pedal setup, the pad setup that's on there. Because the wheel is so heavy, you know, the pads really help on the initial takeoff. I j it just took me a while to get used to just mounting it to take off like fast. I had to get accustomed to the size because it's much bigger than my wheel that I currently own. And that weight plays a big role in the stability of the wheel because it's very stable going at high speeds. I love it, it's amazing. It's, have you not? I hit the top speed, I hit 45 on that. No problem. I can ride seated without a seat. It's just. Love it. How does the ride compare with your 
I liked it better on turns because it's like it's thinner than the Master Pro. It's better. Yeah. It's a smoother ride. It's a smoother ride. Even though the suspension is not amazing, it's still smoother though. And that does not feel like a knob, it feels like a street car. You gotta change the pedal for sure. Well, the other one's broke, right? Yeah. Wait, what's broken? The pedal. Oh, the original pedal. pedal. Oh, the original. Oh, the original. Wait, those are original? No, this is, this, this is the, uh, yeah, this is the V12. Like, this is the aftermarket emotion pedal. And you haven't tweaked them, right? You haven't, like, changed their shortness and whatnot? Change the what? The, like, the screws, you can turn them, right? To make them, like, even more grippy or less grippy. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, no, that's it. There's no, uh, there's no, they're all right. Beyond Yo, man, shout out to Sean. Letting us try out the Emotion V13. It's a pretty dope wheel, man. I had a great time. I had a great time trying it out. It's amazing.